just got home, hot and sweaty. Oh, yeah, what a day. We had 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, and we, if you saw that live stream we did on the, uh, the 29th of October, yes, it was windy. Uh, windy. It was warm uh, out today. And right now, it looks like time most of you guys watch this video, the reality of the fall season will, will be upon us and maybe a small taste of winter. Hopefully, no snow. How was your day, ma'am? We had a nice dinner party uh, today with some friends. Yes. Uh, we was at the brewery today. Again. And, again. Unfortunately, we did not film it because it was a dinner party. Mm -hmm. We had to, it, and okay. you had the same thing like you did before on the video. You had the uh, the bluegill. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, and I had the uh, Hawaiian pizza. Yes, pineapple on I'll a pizza. I'll take that next time. You take that next time. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, unfortunately, I did not. I only posted the photos on my personal Facebook page. Wow, here we are late October. I'm out here in a t-shirt. Well, that's all going to change somewhat tomorrow night. Everything's going to... Ooh, what a... Yeah, that pizza I had, that was good. The burp heard around the world again. This time it's done by me. Yeah, right now, the winds have shifted. The winds were blowing from the south. Now they're blowing from the west, so that means cooler air will start coming in. But uh, if it comes in too quickly, there's a chance of a possible storm tomorrow. But things are going to change tomorrow, but guys, not just weather-wise. Uh, if you see me rubbing my hair a lot lately, yes, it's too long. I got to do something with it. I, I'm going to do possibly an instant bald tomorrow. I'm just going to do it tomorrow, guys. I'm just too tired today. Uh, like I said, we had a very good uh, couple live streams, the Halloween parade. If you guys missed it, please check it out uh, because that was awesome. Uh, it was. Uh, we saw the Facebook post today about it, and they said it was rated one of the best uh, in years. So uh, we were lucky that uh, everybody was able to join that live stream, enjoyed it. Uh, it was just fantastic. I was just like, no, how many guys end up re-watching that live stream? That'd be cool. I hate to have to bring this up, but I had to talk about a little YouTube tech uh, issues. Uh, when I did the October 29th uh, live stream, they were trying a new thing for most YouTube creators. Uh, basically what they call set goals. You can do that in your, uh, I was able to do that in my, uh, countdown uh, before I went live and I thought I set the donation too high I said no no one ain't gonna donate that much and I found out Mark uh, from Canada uh, donated uh, five dollars Canadian uh, just to try out to see if I met my goals I put down a goal for one super chat on the live stream I just, I just say, I'm just gonna put, I went wild on it, I don't admit it I should have went uh, lower on it uh, but yeah, anybody who missed that live stream, I, I'm planning to do it on the live stream for probably either uh, Christmas, I think Christmas Day, if I go live Christmas Day, I'm going to do it there. Uh, I'm going to set the price a little lower uh, to see if anybody who jumps in on it. And uh, it's just, you don't have to, guys. Just remember, you don't have to. Uh, you don't want to. You don't have to. But... Uh, uh, but what it is is I'm planning more using it because even at Halloween parade I did get hit with a copy but one good thing is it was, it was shared revenues uh, if I would have had that goal uh, the day before or the day of that Halloween parade I probably would have tried it out but uh, until then I don't know when we're going to plan to do it again but I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at possibly Christmas uh, Day. I'll set a goal for so many subscribers for Super Chats and whatever. It is, it's something new uh, that I don't know of all the channels has it, but I noticed it on my channel. So I just took advantage of it and to see it worked. Yeah, it works. Usually this time of year, I'm usually in my either in my hoodie or in my winter coat. 
Uh, wonder why there's no chair there because uh, one of the chairs in there a while back go broke. That's why you haven't seen a whole lot of patio chats. Uh, last night was the first one for a while, so uh, I don't want to make this too long. I want to get Angie involved in this video for the last couple clips, and we'll just call it a day. Seeing Angie without glasses. Hello, you again. again. Yeah. So Jack, there's sad news. What's that? I got to show you on the camera. Okay. Okay, uh, you want me to explain something you just told me, uh, so people can understand it better? Okay, we just heard, uh, I'm dying, guys. you're on the case, right? Uh, yeah, Angie just gave me some bad news for the people in the Quad City area. Uh, the guy, of course, the, the originator of the Thanksgiving dinner passed away a few years ago, but it looks like they canceled this year's event due to lack of volunteers. Yes. Wow, that's not good. Lack of volunteers and that, so no Mr. Thanksgiving this year. Of course, mm. the guy who created it passed away a few years ago, I do believe. And I may be wrong, but uh, but no free Thanksgiving dinners uh, at the locations, right? Right. Usually at the mall down there in Moline, right? Yeah. Yeah, then, usually. Then somebody just posted they want North Park Mall to take it over. They want North Park Mall to take it over? Yeah, they could. Okay, either South Park Mall doesn't want to host it no more or lack of volunteers. I don't know. If you guys know the story, if your local subscribers know the story of it, leave it down in the comments down below, which it's a crying shame anyway. Uh, people, a lot, of, a lot of people who's homeless or, or lonely, usually they attend events like that because that's the only place to go for Thanksgiving if they're lonely and all that stuff or if they're short on funds uh, just hopefully what we're going to do for Thanksgiving ourselves probably not much which we'll is have something simple uh, this year maybe uh, get a small turkey this year I don't know we're not going to overboard it this year because I gotta watch my weight yeah I gotta watch my weight oh by the way I will have another weight update in the next few days maybe include Something gone up here. Okay, any else you're researching for Wonderful YouTube? Um, he did not cancel it. South Park Mall did. South Park Mall canceled it. Yes. So they had the volunteers, but the South Park Mall decided they don't want to do it this he year. He missed the meeting. No one. Yeah. Wow. I guess no way ain't gonna go shopping at South Park Mall in Moline anymore. I wouldn't go there. He missed the meeting. He, there was a meeting. There was a miss, he missed it. He missed the meeting? Yes. But in other words, they probably booked the meeting without knowing that they don't want him there. You know how they backstab people nowadays, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, that's where it goes. That's where the cookie crumbles. But I bet you someone else will pick it up. Everybody's hoping North Park Mall does. Or how about the Civic Center down in Moline? That's big enough to host one. Yeah. Yeah. That could. couple past couple years, they only had a drive-through. Yeah, because of COVID. Yes. And that. But this is really the first get together inside yes. since COVID. Yep. Okay. So kind of COVID kind of spilled the doom of that thing. Uh, yeah. Possibly. So I know that's not possible on this one. It's hard to believe it's possible, but it's not possible. But it is possible. It's time to end this video because you're yawning. I even took a nap. Yeah, but we just got done with a long walk too. So two we're nights in a row. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's good for you. That's good for me. That's also good for you too. You know, we need to end this video so it'll be good for everybody, I think. Oh, please like, share, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Notification bell. We'll see you later. Bye.